Harlan, Damon here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com for sure, and it is one must go as we are going to test ourselves with 20 characters from video games. One must go, the other just does not exist. Your memories of them, the game they were in, all of that, gone. You have to choose between the two. Of course, they've all got links to their own worlds or they're in the same style of game. Mm -hmm. That is how it is done. My mind's already, my mind's already, already running through. <laughs> well, the first one's going to kill you straight away. Let's begin then with Squall or Cloud. So Final Fantasy VIII Squall or Final Fantasy VII's Cloud. Both moody, both angry, mm. both got inner turmoil and demons. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one has a better story? Which one has a better love story? Which one has a better resolution for you? I said it before. I, I love, I love number eight. I, I love the characters number eight. But I think for nostalgia, for history wise. <laughs> No, it's got to be Cloud, you know, because everyone, even even when the remake, literally, as soon as everyone saw Cloud walking with a sword, the whole place erupted. You know, it, if you go to a comic convention, you're more likely to see uh, people dressed as Cloud yeah. than Squall. Put yeah. it that way. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Squall, but he is uh, one of the lowest ranked characters in all of the main playable ones in all the Final Fantasies. Yeah. Uh, of all of them, that's below Zidane. That's below fuck. What's Tens called? Oh, I forgot. Titus. Titus. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so of course it's Cloud for me as well. Yeah. To the women now, Jill Valentine or Claire Redfield. Now, we did do a tier list quite recently where we ranked these. Yeah. These women were put in a rank in a Resident Evil tier list. So I feel like we both probably have the answer straight away considering we ranked one of these higher than the other. I hope you do because I'm, I, I, I'm going for Claire. Yes. Because obviously Resident Evil 2 and, yep. and her story, her half story was probably one of the best. Code Veronica? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, and Code Veronica of course, yeah. That's it. Yeah, Claire's always been more interesting. The link to Chris Redfield, the fact that he's such a he's a mainstay of the franchise, and Claire's got those links there. Mm -hmm. She's always come across as quite an interesting character too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for me, Claire as well. Okay, this was really hard because I couldn't find anyone to match up with Solid Snake. Who the hell matches up with Solid Snake? So I went from a game that's similar in style, but probably makes this one really easy. Gabe Logan from Siphon Filter. Okay. Yeah. You see what I'm team my thinking there? Yeah. I mean, <sighs> Siphon Filter was brilliant, and the, 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 the PS1 for the, like, was the number three, whatever it was. Yeah, good game, but it's, it's Snake, you know, Snake. You know. Snake! <laughs> yeah, of course it is, absolutely. Yeah. It, it was one of the more lazy ones I put together. What are you going to do? Shooting guys here. Do Nukem, who likes to chat, or the guy who doesn't say a single word and just kicks ass. Doom guy. So the main character from Doom. I think, I, I think a lot of people walk, walk away to Doom. Because he's I, a badass. I think Doom was, is, is probably a more famous game. I think. Well, the new the new Dooms as well really really up the ante with him in regards to badassery. So there is that aspect. Do well, Nukem those do Nukem. I, 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 I always like Do Nukem. You know, just, you know just comedy, funny, uh, the cheeky lines, you know, perfect, yeah. perfect timing. But he isn't a pretty terrible game. Yeah, a really yeah. terrible game. We all know what it is. Oh yeah, I'll... Do Nukem forever. Yeah, yeah. and. Uh, the yep. Yeah. So limited games. So what would you choose? Because I know what I'd choose. But I mean, see what you'd think. Four, four demand games, and still going now. It's got to be doomed. That there, but I have a specific reason. When I was younger, Duke Nukem. Um, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of gum. I thought it was the coolest line ever. Mm -hmm. Thought it was so badass. Then I got older and I watched a film called They Live. An incredible film. Love that movie. Great movie. Uh, starring, of course, Rowdy Roddy Piper. And in that, I watched as he entered a bank to kill aliens. Spoilers. Uh, the aliens with a shotgun and says, I'm here to chew, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. And I went, wait, what? And then I realised, oh my God, Duke Nukem, that line didn't, uh, did, did not originate in Duke Nukem. It came from They Live. Duke Nukem said it. Came out before Duke Nukem did. Oh. Wow. And I was so they, stunned. So they stole it? No, 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 no. I didn't stole it. Okay, it's a tribute. Okay, tribute. But it's something I didn't know, and I was wowed. Oh, and that once okay, iconic yeah. line, yeah. once iconic line, was no longer iconic, was no longer iconic to the new It was iconic to They Live for me. Okay, yeah. That makes it Doom Guy. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sub Zero, or obviously, Scorpion. Oh, <laughs> obviously, asked between oh, the two. Man. Yep. So this you can use this from 
any game franchise, any version of Sub-Zero or Scorpion you want to decide on this. You can even throw throw in the movies, throw in Conquest versions. I, 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 I was about to say, okay, that Scorpion from Conquest is a dick because the amount of times it, He's it, useless. Kills, it kills his own men. You know, yeah. you, you failed, you're dead. Um, but we got the movie versions as well, throw them all in there. Interesting, right? It's very difficult because, you know, literally, for me, they, they are more combat. Those two characters. They're the two of the most it's iconic the, uh, characters, if not the most iconic. I'm going to... You got a coin. <laughs> yeah, it's basically <laughs> flip a coin. Well, well, tell you what, let's break it down this way. When you played Mortal Kombat, who did you prefer to play as? Sub Zero or Scorpion? I, 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 like, I like them both. For the show. Yeah, I, but I, like, um, which move would did you prefer? No, I'm, I'm going to choose. I'm, I'm going to go for Scorpion. Yep. Only because I, I, I prefer his moves, I prefer the way he looks. And yes, it is. Sub Zero for me. Mm. And I'm going to simply do it it's because his moves on the uh, old games were easier to do. You could spam the uh, right. shoot in the ice, <laughs> spam it. Princess Peach or Princess Zelda? So the two icons of their respective franchises. Shit, one of them has her name in the exact title of a famous franchise. Yeah. One of them is more interactive, at times playable, than the other. <laughs> but that doesn't mean she isn't playable. There are other games. She obviously comes in different fashion. It's Peach, isn't it? Is it really? Yeah, it's got to be Peach, isn't it? You know, you know, Super Mario 2, obviously, you, 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 you play as Peach. She's probably... I'm arguably one of the main characters, even though you don't, you don't, you don't compare her, because it's without her, there is no Mario. Of course, Barry kidnaps her yeah, all the yeah. time. I mean, it's, it's got to be Peach. You know. I'm going to go the opposite, and I'm going to do it for the women, because I'm going to speak for them. Simply that is, Peach is a damsel in distress. She is, all yeah. she ever needs to be is rescued. Zelda, on the other hand, has proven to be a fighter. Mm -hmm. And that is always an interesting aspect, to the point where people are saying it's time she actually gets a star in one of her own games, instead of Link. True. And there's a strong argument that that would be an interesting take to, to take to do. Whether they will do it, I don't know. It had to be. How are you going to follow that? Mario Sonic. So Mario or Sonic, two of the icons of video games. I feel bad for Sonic because mm. because because actually in every film he's done he's always behind Mario, but unfortunately games behind Mario. Games but that's like, because that's because <laughs> Mario games, Sonic games, it, fucking uh, hell. Yeah, I mean it's Mario. Literally, everyone knows who Mario is. I mean everyone knows who Sonic is, but don't get it wrong, literally, it's, it's Mario. Yeah. You know, I'd almost be tempted to choose Sonic because Mario isn't very interactive, doesn't talk a lot, and stuff like that, and go on the basis of the character rather than the games. And then I remember the 2006 Sonic the Hedgehog game. <laughs> The stupidly broken, horrible fucking game uh, that has him kissing a human. And you just, you make it weird. You made it weird. Or, or yeah. Sonic Unleashed, where he becomes a werehog. Werehog. Yeah. Um, yes. So, yeah. Mario, yeah, of Mario. course. Yeah. This is cheating a little bit, but purely because this character is so strong, he had to be put up against every other character from the franchise. Ezio of Assassin's Creed 2. <laughs> Brotherhood and the other one, I'm forgetting. Altai, Altai, yeah. No, 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 oh, the games. Oh, no, no. Uh, oh. Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Revelations. And, uh? Revelations. Revelations. Or every other main character in Assassin's Creed. So Altair, Connor, uh, uh, Arno, all the, every other character that starred in Assassin's Creed against Ezio. Yeah, they don't have a chance. Ezio still wins! <laughs> easy, yeah, easy, yeah. Um, it's his an story, easy one. His story is it's, it's, it's so, so brilliant. Yeah, it's a brilliant story. He's the only assassin in all the games that's had this level of development that I felt like you could actually give it a shit about. Yep. Ezio, yeah, he beats all of them on his own. Yeah, easy. Okay, this is hard, and I don't know how much you're gonna difficult it's gonna be for you. Purely, be, it was hard to put together. Who the fuck do I put alongside Isaac Clarke of Dead Space? So I end up choosing someone who also wears a suit and doesn't speak many many words. Samus Aran of the Metroid series. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah, I, I mean, my knowledge of Metroid ain't that great. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's Isaac Clarke, but not. Not so much for the. F I mean, I don't know because the first one, he doesn't speak, but mm. he's, he's brilliant. He, he, he hasn't got to speak because the game speaks for itself. Yep. You know, and obviously number two, his, de his development is a lot much better than number three. He just won't shut up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> number three, he's more like he's more. I don't know, he's, he's messed up. He's depressed. He's mm. like being controlled by the marker, really. You know, so but for me, it's, it's Isaac Clark. Because of the franchise, too. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same. Is that I've never really, really got into Metroid in the early days. I like Metroid Prime uh, on the GameCube, but even there, it kind of ends for me. Whereas obviously, Dead Space is a bit more of an iconic franchise. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Chris Redfield or 
Leon S. Kennedy. So, I mean, if we're talking about how they appear in games, I mean, yeah. Leon is in some of the best games exactly. to date. But Chris Redfield is Resident Evil. He is. To the point where he's currently the only main one still around in the latest versions of Resident Evil. That's Seven and Village. In fact, he's playable in Village. But then, if it wasn't for Leon, would there be a Resident Evil? Yeah, because he's only number two. He's not number one. Number yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so. I'm, I'm not knocking. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, knocking no, 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 it. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm making the case for both of them because obviously Leon is in two of the most iconic Resident Evil games to date, and Resident Evil Six. <laughs> that, that one, it's like the Ghostbusters. We don't, we don't, we don't talk about it. Chris is in Resident yeah. Evil One, Code Veronica, yeah. Five, mm. Seven, Village. Chris Redfield. There you go. I've answered it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I love Leon. Brilliant games. Two and four are probably one of my favourite. I have not played the later version, so I can't judge what Chris was like in Seven and Village. But I would eventually. But I'll go with Chris Taylor. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Spyro or Crash Bandicoot? That's, As characters. Yeah, Spyro. Characters, though? Yeah, yeah Spyro. Okay, fair yeah, enough. It's Spyro, yeah. No, it's difficult because um, Crash doesn't really talk. He just pulls silly faces. Yeah, with faces. Um, Spyro does talk, but the, his voice in the original games was Horribly yeah, like, irritating. Yeah, very, very like squeaky. Not, not squeaky, but like a deep and. It, I, yeah, it's got yeah. this weird. Like it's supposed to come across like he's a kid, but with yeah. a deeper voice. It's very strange. Later Spyro games would have him voiced by Elijah Wood. Oh wow. Um, which know, yeah, know. which is obviously a massive improvement. Mm. Uh, so Spyro for me too. Yeah, yeah. Bowser or Doctor Robotnik. And obviously one is a bit more talky than the other. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is. Both the main villains of their respective series. I'm going to be a bit, a bit well, it's not well, I'm, I'm going for, for, for Eggman for me. Because, I mean, Bowser, what does what what, what he, he do? He, he, Kidnaps a princess and fails. Yeah, that, that's it, yeah. I, well, well, what does Robotnik do? Tries to kill a hedgehog and fails. <laughs> okay, <yeah, true. laughs> They're both um, not good at what they do. I'm choosing Bowser, and I'm doing this purely on the visual more than anything else. And I also really hate the fact that Sega turned him into Dr. Eggman. Is it not good to see that? No, I'm, I'm going to stay with Robotnik only because the fact that you have see you, you, you do more battles with him, really. Okay. Every, 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 every two levels, you fight him. Okay, obviously, he's easy. But Bowser, what's up? Once a game, really, at the end? Yeah, you pretty know, much, yeah, basically. Uh, I mean, you, you fight his child once or twice, I think, in Sunshine. Yeah, yeah, and later games, games, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bowser's doing is a major part, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go for Eggman. Okay. Um, I feel like before we move on, I've just got to remind you, though, that the, the Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, creates some stupid-ass boss machines. And I'm thinking of the final boss from Sonic 1, where his idea is to get inside some tubes yeah. and then just go up and down. until like I mean, that's just, that's just stupid. <laughs> well, At least in the second one, he was like, all right, I'm going to choose a giant version of myself. Uh, he's, an, he's inventive. So. Invent, invent, <laughs> yeah, he is, yeah. Right, villains here, but not villains in the normal sense. More like things that bother you. Pyramid Head or Nemesis? Both iconic in their respective roles. One obviously an icon of the franchise, rather that whereas Nemesis is just in a one game only, but they do yeah. operate quite differently. Obviously, as Nemesis pursues, Pyramid doesn't in yeah. that same way. They both elect fear. So yeah, it's a tough one, right? Tough one. I mean, but I'll go for Nemesis. Yep, same here. I agree. Yeah, because him chasing you around, it's more, it's more fearful. Yeah, you know, I mean, if Pyramid Head would knock down doors, and yep. then I, I think he'd hit with it. Yes. Because, I mean, I mean look, look, looks wise, I think he's more scary, look wise. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. Nemesis, purely for the fact that he'll pursue you. Mm. Kane, as in K A I N, as in Kane the Vampire, or Raziel the Vampire, the Soul Reaper? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a harsh one. Is it, though? I'll tell you why I'm choosing Kane. Simon Bot is Raziel is a little bitch. Kane is at least a badass. In the first one, yeah. He's, he's a badass in the later uh, ones. In the franchise overall, it's simply by the fact that it's prophecy. But Raziel, oh my god, I'm dead, I'm a vampire. Not really. Um, Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, that's yeah, it. So I'm, I'm going back because you know, I prefer Soul Weaver. I no, mean, no, I, listen. I, I, I love Soul Weaver. Yeah, Soul Weaver's a good game. Soul Weaver, when you replay it now, is one of the most. It, 
fucking so linear, mm. so linear, where it feels like it's an open world, but really, really isn't. But also, while the elements can be quite cool, the puzzle solving all that, you realise later it's really frustrating as well. Mm. But how often you're just having to constantly switch, constantly switch, constantly switch, I mean, constantly no, switch. I've, I've, I've played it. I've played it since like bloody. There you go. The yeah, yeah, nostalgia's. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm judging Kane because I've played over two. I mean, they, well, fair, they're they're fair. Terrible. But I mean, I suppose if. Oh, do you know, I, I can't choose Rose Hill. I love Kane. Yeah. Yeah. Made the right choice. Kane, K A N E, as in Kane from the Command and Conquer series. Oh, and I struggle who to put them up against, so Shepard. I went with the obvious one. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shepard. That's Kane. Yeah, it is Kane. Kane's. Like, every, every game he appears in, he's brilliant, he's funny. The guy who plays him does it brilliantly. Oh, yeah. Shepard's one game only, really. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, who else could I put up against him? George Stobart, right? So from Broken Sword, George. And I was like, who the hell else can I put him up against who talks all the time and kind of irritates you with it? Rinsman. Nope, no, 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 didn't work. It was be, I didn't want to copy the Discworld yeah, Brother yeah, Sword yeah. thing. So I'm with another irritating talker, Navi from Legend of Zelda. Oh, <laughs> George wins, mate. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's easy, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. George is great. Uh, Laura Croft. Or, and again, I struggled here again. Who do I pop against Laura Croft? Jack from Mass Effect. So I went for two strong women who are oh. tough and fight and all that. So Jack from Mass Effect 2. Or Lara Croft. That's hard. It I, is. I, mean, I like Jack. Yep. Jack's, Jack, Jack's background, back, background story is brilliant. More interesting than Miranda. Oh, oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Oh. It's Lara Croft, obviously, an icon of games. That's the problem. See, I, I mean, as much as I love Mass Effect, and I, I've, I, I've gone for them every time, I've got to go for, 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 for Laura Croft, only because of the fact that the icon of games, you know, she's a she's a major character. Jack's more of a side character, mm. and that's, for me, that, that 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 does it. If you're talking about Shepard, then that's different. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, and it is that. It really is. It's that as well. Plus, the new version of Lara Croft uh, that are in the new Tomb Raiders mm. is just as good as, if not more interesting, than the one that came before. Almost done. Marcus Phoenix or Dom Santiago. So Marcus and Dom. Quite two. They're very different. They're obviously, the, the main two people who players mm. in the game. Uh, Dom's got a more tragic story. Yep. Marcus is more focused, but quite interesting too. Mm. So it's basically, it comes down to which one you prefer. It's got. To be, I mean, it's got to be Marcus, isn't it? Surely, because uh, I mean, if you're playing single player, your player's Marcus. Your player's Dom. Multiplayer, one's one's Dom, so it's got to be Marcus. But what about Dom's sort of story arc involving his wife? I love the story. The, mm. the, the, the side story is brilliant, and spoilers. Well, sorry, it's not spoilers. But it's, it, it is spoilers. It is, it is a spoiler, sorry, but you, you don't know by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, his death is it's terrible. Yeah. yeah it's, well, when it, you say terrible, you mean... It's heart-wrenching. It's heart-wrenching. Right, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, just clarify, yeah. you're not saying it's a terrible fucking no, no, scene. No, no, yeah. no, yeah, 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 literally. Heart, it's, it's heart-wrenching because, obviously, you build something with, 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 with those characters over the first three games. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. from that point. But, I mean, yeah, it's going to be Marcus. Apart from the fact that, because, obviously, me and you obviously done recently, obviously, the, the playthrough. If he just shuts up more and kills more, then it'd be, it'd be more fun. Yeah, true. So. Second last one. Ryu or Ken? Street Fighters, Fighters. Yeah, it's Ryu. Always been Ryu. Ken. Ooh. Always been Ken. Always played as Ken. Out of the two. Even, even, even the Street Fighter film, is, 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 Ryu's the better actor. No, Ken's got funnier lines. <laughs> yeah, he's got funnier lines. The, the, that, that wins. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. And last but not least, and what I hope will be the hardest one yet, as it's two women... Two important love interests involved in some iconic scenes from their respective games. Renoa or Aerith? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a difficult one. It is difficult. Obviously, you could argue that Aerith is out of the game. Spoilers. <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> halfway through Final Fantasy VII. But she's still there, isn't it? I mean, she, well, she, she is and she in, isn't. In the background, so yeah. like, live streams. But ultimately, she is also involved in what is... Considered to be one of gaming's most iconic scenes. Yeah. yeah. Renoa? She is great. She's great because obviously she, she obviously has the love story with Cypher and then she has the love story with Squall. Yep. And it, calls that, it increases the day rivalry. Yep. But I mean, just because of Aerith's death, and I feel like that. Uh, I'm probably wrong saying this, but, but that might have been like the first death I've seen in a game. 
Pro- uh, like the first I, major death. No, I think that I think I don't think that's necessarily wrong. I mean, mm. yeah, there might have been death like in fucking New Zealand story. Yeah, yeah, but or something I mean, about I the, the master system. Like, but like major the, shock. The one that you to, one that happened to the character you'd connected mm. to. Oh, 100 percent. And and look, the, the the whole scene the, and the music for me, yes, yeah, is, is Aerith. I also choose Aerith. It's interesting you say about the 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 first impact. As I ultimately Aerith's death set the scene for set the scene mm. for future games to go right if you connect with these characters you're going to um feel something more than you've ever felt before mm. um i remember the shock as well as anything like that finding out the truth behind that death scene from yep. the director of the game makes it even harder to un- like to to sim- you know but i also want to respect the fact that like in something like advent children yeah Eris' death from the game has impacted in a film like that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I really like Renoir. I think she's very interesting. I think the space scene in Final Fantasy VIII oh, is one yeah. of the strongest scenes in that game, let alone the franchise overall. Yeah. But ultimately, you're never going to top Eris. I mean, have they ever topped a female in the game? I mean, Tiff, Tifa's great. <sighs> yeah, Tifa's good. I mean, I can't remember her name. What was her name? Uh, from? Number 10. Uh... Uh, bloody oh great. my goodness me! Why have I forgotten her name? You, uh, you, Yuna. Yuna's Yuna's up there, but yeah. Yuna's still a little bit like. Oh. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and Dagger, Final Fantasy Nine. No, the Princess no, Garnet. No, no. Uh, I mean, nope. The, the Lightning. F- the first two discs for Garnet, bland. Yep. When she goes quiet, like and, and can't talk, then she improves me. <laughs> so, so. I'm yeah, gonna, well, but, because you can't talk. Yeah, can't no, I really speak ca- character-wise. Yeah, L- lightning for her three games. I mean, lightning's interesting, but ultimately she's still not like there's n- there's nobody in the Final Fantasy games that era. No, no. So yeah, it has to be, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. There you go. There's one must go for video game characters. What do you reckon? You got some thoughts? Get your own choices. Drop them in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there, that's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts and of course if you like this video do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?